be live. Hey everybody, how are you? It's Christy coming to you live from Moscow, Idaho. Sorry, we're a few minutes late. Um, we had, you know, a couple of things, always last minute trying to get ready. So things were a little nuts here, but we have lots of new stuff to show you today. We have a stash sale that we're announcing at five o'clock our time, which is in 55 minutes. So get excited for that. Um, we also have, uh, let's see, we have an open house tomorrow and Saturday in case you're local. There's a quilt show um, over at the Laytaw County Fairgrounds, and we will be open here. We'll have 10% off everything in the store. Um, and let's see. So we'll be here from 10 to 4, Friday and Saturday. We're also doing door prizes. And if you're coming, please park in the back lot. Um, try to, anyways. We'll all be parked on the street. Um, let's see. And so, yes, yeah, stash sale will be announced at 5. Um, once we get a little bit further along, I'll need the prices for those two because I like to tell them what the deals are. This weekend, uh, we are having Kimberbell on sale, and we decided 15% off, right? Okay, 15% off all Kimberbell. Um, that's everything that's in stock. I don't think we have anything listed for pre-order right now, so um, everything in stock. So let's see, Kelly says hi. Hi, Kelly. Deidre, hello. And Rachel and Linda both said hello. Hi, everybody. Deidre, I saw your uh, post earlier today or sometime recently, I'm not sure when, uh, in the Rebs Fab Stashers group about quilting the pillow. Um, Mom has always told me that if you put your hand like this on a quilt and you can touch stitching, then it's fine. It won't come apart when you throw it in the wash. So if you want to quilt it or you not, don't want to quilt it, um, that's the rule of thumb. If you can go like this and you can touch stitching, then you're good. And it looks like on that pillow, what you've done already um, is good. So you should be good to go if you don't want to do any more. And by the way, really good job on the quilting on that. You did a really nice job on that panel, the pillow panel. <sighs> Kim says hi. Heather says hi. Tammy's here. Tammy, Tammy, Tammy Stubbs. And Linda is here. Hello, everybody. Thanks for being here. Okay, so um, <clears throat> we're going to have several giveaway questions. It's a little bit of market research, so I'm just going to apologize ahead of time. A little market research for me, but um, it'll help us as we move forward. So how many of you – oh, yes, how's the audio? Can you guys hear us okay? Does it sound like I'm far away? Does it sound like I'm right here next to you? I have the AirPod in. Um, okay, so how many of you know – that we have a YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, there's not a lot of content out there right now. There's like me unboxing the March video or the March stash box. We'll be um, posting a video, a reveal video for the stash box um, probably sometime next week. Ross Leonard says, hi from Australia. Hi, Ross. How, what time is it there in Australia? It's like, I don't know, really early in the morning. Is it like eight o'clock in the morning there? Um, thanks for being here. Um, anyway, so how many of you knew I have a YouTube channel? Okay. Like I said, there's not a lot of content out there right now, but that is because I'm trying to figure out what to put on the YouTube channel. Like which kind of content should I put out there? Because there's a lot of stuff that's already been done and I don't necessarily want to put stuff that's out there that's already been done. Like how to sew a scant quarter inch or how to put your binding on a quilt, right? That stuff's already out there. But what kind of content would you guys like to see me put on YouTube? Um, that would be really helpful um, for me. And as far as the giveaways go, we've got lots of ideas. Lynn McIntyre says, hello. Hi, Allison Rice and Lori Scott. Hey, guys, thanks for joining. Lynn, did you get your package that we were holding for you forever and ever and ever? Hopefully you got it and you're super happy. She did. Oh, good. She, got, she gave me a heads up on that. So if you make the little triangle here, that might we'll work, see if that works. Okay, so we got some gorgeous fabric in this week, you guys. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I don't even know where to start. Like I'm looking at all of it behind me and I'm like, oh, I don't even know where to start. But one of the things we did get is this really cute um, what's this collection called? I haven't even had a chance to look at it because we've been, we were shipping stash boxes like crazy this week. 
Turtle Bay. Yes, Turtle Bay. This is from Northcott New Collection. There is a panel that is made out of canvas. And Lana, my lovely shop manager, made us a sample. Um, it has a little pocket on the inside that you could, whoops, sorry, I could just kick the camera, that you could embroider your name on there. Isn't that cute? Little pocket. Your cell phone would fit just right in there, maybe, depending on if you have one of those huge ones or not. But nice size on here. One of the things that she said she would probably do on her next one is quilt it, line it, make it a little bit more sturdy because just the panel um, is a little floppy or whatever. It's kind of whatever, but you know. And, but isn't that cute? Look, oh, you can make a cute new beach bag. Isn't that adorable? So we have these. Um, the, we're putting the links in the chat for all of the products because Facebook is giving us havoc. It's wreaking havoc on us. By the way, I wanted to let you guys know the Rebs Fab Stash t-shirt that I'm wearing. Ooh, new color. It is Heather, oh, not Periwinkle, Heather Sapphire, Heather Sapphire. So this is the new color, Heather Sapphire, in case you want one. They're on the website. Okay, so let's look at this Turtle Bay collection. What, I'm getting eyeballs. No, I'm eyeballing the iPad. Oh, she's eyeballing the iPad. The iPad is not, oh, her iPad is blank. <laughs> She's the one that's supposed to be writing down everything for comments, for giveaways, and it's not working. So yay! Isn't that fun? Um, by the way, for the giveaways, assuming that we can um, get things. Oh, thanks. Somebody said they love my shirt. Let me see. Oh, hi, Valerie. How are you? Kim says, you sound good, but the video is frozen here. Um, Kim, if you can go out of the app and go back in, um, that should hopefully make it work. I don't know. Oh, we'll post the video afterwards, though, in case you miss the video. I think is, um, oh, the other thing that we should make sure is the phone is the only thing connected to the Rebs Fab Stash network. Everything else should be connected to a different network, including this iPad here. Hold on. Hold, please. Um, let's check that one. Reb doesn't want to come on mine tonight. Tammy. I can not not this Tammy Tammy Stubbs. I'm commenting <laughs> on one of her comments. I cannot get my mom to come in. So you guys just need to tell her. I don't know. Is she watching? Is her are her and Emily watching? I know. I know Tammy doesn't know. But for those of you, Heidi loves my shirt. Thank you. Um, Rebs Fab Stash. Yay. Okay. So for those of you that are watching, is Emily watching, or is Reb Randall watching? Because if so, um, you tell them how badly you want Reb to be on the video. And I was going to bring Grizzly on the video today because he got a bath today from Petco, but I didn't, he wasn't dried off in time. So maybe I'll bring him next week if he doesn't find a puddle of mud <laughs> and get really dirty. Okay, let's look at, um, do you wanna connect that one to the Reb's Fab Stash Network? I don't know. <laughs> iPad's not working. I'd like to meet Reb. Hi, Lynn. We want to meet Reb. Yay. Okay, I'll tell mom. They all want to meet her. She was on one like six months ago or something, but it's time for her to come out of her shell and come back and be on the video again, right? Okay, so by the way, Reb is going to be here at the open house tomorrow. For those of you that are in um, within driving distance, Donita says hi. Hello. Hello, hello. Okay, Turtle Bay by Northcott. This is the half yard bundle, but we have half yard bundles, fat quarter bundles that we cut. We also have some gorgeous kits. Um, I think I have those to show you as well. So let's get into Turtle Bay. This um, collection, like I said, is by Northcott. The designer is Deborah Edwards and Melanie Samra. Melanie Samra is the one that did that um, elk print and was gorgeous and I thought that I ordered way too much of it and then it was gone in like a week. <laughs> so we had to get more. Um, and I don't know if this is a reprint or not, but they have been reprinting her fabrics because they are that gorgeous. So it just came in this week. So if you like this collection, buy it now because it's probably gonna be gone in like a week or less. Do we have a giveaway question currently? Yes. Giveaway question is, 
Um, what kind of content would you like me to have on our YouTube channel? Okay, so comment down below. What kind of content would you like to see on the YouTube channel? And the first giveaway we're going to do is the panel. What? Uh, I don't know, but we have 120 yards of it. <laughs> so we're probably fine. First giveaway we're going to do is the panel for the bag. And it has everything you need right on here, including the instructions. See, and here's the little pocket. Okay. So this is just using simply the panel or yeah, just the canvas and it's a canvas. It's a really um, high quality canvas. And um, I wonder if it has something to do with the ocean and the plastic and stuff, why they came out with this. It's linked in the chat if you guys would like to buy the panel, but we'll do a giveaway for it as well today. Okay, so let's look at this fabric. Oh my gosh, it is so gorgeous. You're like, Christy, shut up. Quit talking about it. I want to see it. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Ooh, hey, I have a nice little thing to hold it. Okay, so I'm showing you the half yard bundle. Here we have turtles on a light aqua. Aren't they cute? I don't know how well that's showing. Can you change the lights to daylight? This one I don't think is. This one might be. Isn't that pretty? And... Then we have, I think this one, let me look. Hold on, let me look at this and see how it looks. Oh my gosh, I can't tell which one is gorgeous. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I don't know, lighting's good on this, I think. This is a cool lighting, but that looks right. Okay, on my screen. This is on the blue, so I think these are the main prints. I haven't even had a chance to look at this collection. So please forgive me as I'm gushing over it because I haven't even seen it. I just knew it came in and I was like, oh my gosh. Join our email list for a special link to this bundle. Huh? Join our email list for a special link to this bundle. Oh, it's going to be in the email tonight that's going out, which is also announcing the stash sale, but it's going out at what, 5.30? Okay, so the, there's an email going out at 5.30. You guys get to know what the stash sale is at five o'clock. And I will tell you at five, which is in 42 minutes. Okay, we've got, what is this? Coral. This is on a kind of a white. And the coral itself is kind of a sea green color. Actually, there's lots of different colors in it. It's a digital print for this collection. That's how you get all these colors in here. This is also coral, but this coral reads a lot more bluish, kind of ocean blue, sky blue. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is like a seaweed print, and it has blues and greens. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh. They're laughing at your comments. Somebody's laughing at your comments. I don't know what. Wendy must be saying something funny. No, it wasn't Wendy. It wasn't Wendy. Hi, Wendy. How are you? Thanks for she's, being here. She's almost done with her tomatoes. She's almost done with her tomatoes. What tomatoes? What is she her talking about? Blocks. Judy would like to see one yard projects on YouTube. Like, Judy, clarify that. One yard. Judy would like to see one yard projects on YouTube. Like using one yard of fabric and making a quilt out of it or something not quilty. We could do that. We have a bunch of projects in our stash box that are one yard or less projects. By the way, Judy must be wanting to bust her stash. Stash buster, that must be what it is. Look at these marbled prints. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna lose it. This is gorgeous. This one's blues and greens. That's showing up really nice on the screen there. And here's another one. This one's a lighter sea green with some blue tones, but it's much more kind of a sea greenish look. Oh, wow, that's gorgeous. It's almost like a topography map. Isn't that gorgeous? <gasps> you guys have to get this before it sells out. Oh my gosh. Rescue the fabric from the quilt shop. <laughs> Browns. So these are all in the fat quarter bundles and the half yard bundles. Here's a really light cream, creams and grays. 
and oh my gosh more blue oh my gosh this is so pretty you guys oh I can hardly stand it isn't that gorgeous oh my gosh so many fun things you can do with that Northcott probably has some free patterns we have lots of um, fat quarter friendly patterns on our website this is so gorgeous if you like blues and aquas this is your bundle you must have this oh my gosh this is pretty here we have kind of waves and we've got kind of a design on here is kind of like sand dollars almost and the coloring on this is mostly blue and green more blue than green this one oh we're getting a funny comment here we go a green sea green isn't that pretty <gasps> Sarah's watching hi Sarah <laughs> we miss you we couldn't get the playlist up we well you probably know that Tammy says you've upgraded from saying cute to gorgeous well Tammy that's because this is not a cute collection it's a gorgeous collection it is cute too though oh my gosh isn't this gorgeous I know it's gorgeous beautiful stunning uh, uh now I'm self-conscious Tammy what am I gonna do with you okay let's see let's look at the kits oh my gosh pretty 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 okay we have I only have I only have a couple of the kits I believe oh I've got three of the kits I believe we have more coming with some different colorways. Do you have a fun pattern? I didn't see that. Come here, iPad. Do you have a fun pattern for that Sea Life fabric? Why, yes, as a matter of fact, we do. That was a question from Avi. Avi, we have some kits that we just cut yesterday and they're live on the website today. We'll be posting the links in the comments down below. This one is called Ocean Currents. This pattern is by Pine Tree Country Quilts. This finishes 57 by 69. And we have kits ready to go. Can you look up the price for me really quick on this kit? Um, you'll want four yards for the backing. Did you guys get a good shot of that? Let me see here. <laughs> One hundred six ninety five for this kit, and then you'll need four yards for backing. And the collection is called Turtle Bay by Northcott. So go get your backing right now. Let's look at the fabrics that are in here. Hold on, I'm going to look at the pattern. Okay, this is your lighter, kind of almost reads like a background. This coral, okay, gives your eye a place to rest. And then here are these fabrics are used in those blocks kind of the swirl blocks oh my gosh gorgeous gorgeous isn't that gorgeous and then this is a sashing piece and this is a border now the way that they did the border on here they use this fabric for the border because how large the, the turtles are I would actually make that border a little bit wider so grab another yard of this fabric if you want to make this quilt Raquel Cordano wants to know if it feels like a batik. Well, it, um, I mean, it kind of looks like a batik, but it doesn't feel like a batik. Batiks have a really distinct feel to them because of the process that they're made in Indonesia with wax. But they do kind of look a little bit, but they're definitely, it's definitely cotton. And the digital print, is it paper pieced? No, it is not paper pieced, it is traditional piecing. It does look very, yeah, no, it's not. It's traditional piece. Let me just make sure. Yep, all traditional piecing on that. Okay, so Ocean Currents collection, or I mean, uh, quilt kit, 57 by 69. I would make the border a little bit wider than that because the way that it looks here, let me show you the picture again. It looks like they did about a three and a half inch finished border and because of that print I would want to make that a little bit bigger <clears throat> like five or six inches or so so grab another yard of fabric to make that border a little bit wider 
Let's see, this one is called chillaxing. I like that word. I say that sometimes, actually. And, wow, this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. This is a really pretty, oh, you know what? I didn't show you guys the panel, the cotton panel. We saw the, the um, canvas panel, but we did not see the other pan. Oh, there's a couple prints that I didn't show you. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Oh, wow. Okay. Should we show it to you guys? <laughs> oh my gosh. The border print reads like a border print. Isn't that amazing? Now this is 42 inches with the fabric, right? So these are about a 10 inch repeat on this border. $76.95 for this kit that I haven't even shown you yet. Oh my gosh, that you could use that as a panel. You could fussy cut that, use those as blocks. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I can't even stand it. This is also a print in the collection. Look at the little sandy things down on the bottom. Oh my word, this is so gorgeous. <gasps> wow, okay, 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 let me show you the quilt. <laughs> Chillaxing, wow, what a cool quilt. All right, look at what they did here. They took that border print and they did a fussy cut here and then they took that one I just showed you and cut and put half of it here, the sky top of it, and then the rest of it is down here. And then there's a lot of um, lighter color, kind of a modern style quilt, and then some stars. Isn't that cool? Wow, that's gorgeous. And she's got some alternate layouts. So here we have the other al alternate is calm here, which that means we're gonna need to have two versions of this kit, which I don't think we have done yet. Um, let's see. So here's the, um, that lighter color for the background. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. And then these are used for the stars. Wow. This is a good, this would be a good quilt, you guys. Okay. I wanted to show you too, the turtle one. They have the little mommies and babies. Isn't that cute? And you cut that out, fussy cut it, actually, and use it as a block. I love that. This is called chillaxing. It finishes 52 by 64. You're going to need four yards for backing. And they suggest the main print for the backing, which is that one with the turtles all over. Um, make sure I get these all in here. I'm getting another question. Okay, so the giveaway question was, Tell me a little bit about some of the content you'd like to see on the YouTube channel. I'd like to do something that hasn't already been done to death, like how to bind a quilt, how to do a scant, scant quarter inch, whatever. But if you want to see me doing that, I can teach you that too. But what kind of stuff should I put out there on the YouTube channel? Wendy says, it looks like a quilt you could do in a weekend. Yes, Wendy, I do believe that that is the case. I think you would whip out those stars really quickly. Um, and then just put all your blocks together and you could probably get that quilt top done really fast. Um, Tammy, you, oh, paper piecing. Okay, that was one of your suggestions. Belly dancing, Wendy, forget about it. You're not gonna see me belly dancing. <laughs> Melinda would like to see easy quilt tutorials using free cuts. Cool, okay. Um, let's see, another thing I would like to, this is probably a little bit the same skill that you would like to learn that was another question I had for giveaway, but maybe that, maybe some of that is tied a little bit to what you'd like to see on the YouTube. Um, another giveaway, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll have to pick that giveaway later because I don't know how we can figure that out today, but we'll do that as a giveaway tomorrow. Can't do that today. Diana says, cross stitch. You'd like to see me teach you how to cross stitch? Is that what she means? Is that what you mean, Diana? Um, let's see, another giveaway. Can we tell if somebody shares this video? I don't know. Everybody go share this video, see what happens. We'll see if we get some alerts on that. We'll do that as a giveaway too. I think Tammy's gonna murder me. Not, 
the Tammy that's here. Not the other Tammy. Okay. <sighs> okay, this one. This is the third kit that I have to show you today. Um, this one is called Beach View. Oh, wow. You're going to love this one, too. Um, advanced Beginner is what she says. This one's by the Whimsical Workshop. This is stunning. This finishes 68. Oh, wait. Hold on. That's the batting. 60 by 84. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, look at this. I, I love, I love um, Heidi's, Heidi Pridemore is the one that owns the um, Whimsical Workshop. I love her patterns. I love what she does with panels. I think she is so creative with what she does. Now look at what it is here. So you've got the border print here and you've got the border print here. So you're fussy cutting that to a specific size. And then you have that running yardage that I showed you that looks like it's got the sky up on the top and the sandy beach down below. Right, you just have a couple of strips of that. And then you have a couple of blocks down here that you're piecing with some of the fabric from the collection, here and here. And then you have sashing right here and right here, and then a border. So super easy, but it shows you, what I love about this is it shows you how to take this panel or take some running yardage or whatever and build a quilt around it. This is a great pattern, you guys. I love this. You know that sometimes we have those um, border prints or stripe prints where like from selvage to selvage, it's very different. This is a great pattern for that. I, I love her stuff. Okay, so beach view. Let's look at some of the fabrics that are in here. So, um, Wendy just subscribed to your YouTube channel. Thank you, Wendy. I, it won't be bothering you too much yet because we don't have a lot of content out there, but we'll get to it. Okay, so after I hear from you what you'd like me to teach you. Besides belly dancing. Besides belly dancing. Because <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Sorry. <laughs> I hope you're laughing. Okay. So we've got the um, seaweed print. This is used in those pieced blocks. We have the turtle all over print. Um, this is fussy cut in these little blocks here. It looks like these little blocks right here. You're fussy cutting those and putting those turtles in those little squares and then framing them. Okay, and so you have the lighter one and the darker one for the turtles. All right. And then Diana wants to see you work with your chickens. Oh, trust me. You don't want to see that. It's noisy. <laughs> My chickens are so noisy. Oh, okay. Funny story. I'm just going to stop for a second. I'm going to tell you a chicken story. Wendy, go get your husband. This is hilarious. I got a text today from my neighbor, and I laughed when I got it. She texted me and wanted me to know if she could borrow one of my roosters, if I happened to rent out my roosters for stud service. <laughs> she has one lonely hen, and she wants to hatch out some babies, apparently. And I'm like, you know, I, I still have too many roosters. I still have to get rid of a bunch of roosters. And I'm like, you can have one. But then she had some other questions. So I'll have to call her tonight and tell her about that. But yeah, she wants to know if I rent out my roosters for stud service. <laughs> I mean, you rent out like horses, right? And cows probably, I don't know. But roosters, I thought that was pretty funny. My babies are doing good. There's 21 little babies running around. A couple of them are a little smaller than some of my others. So I separated them. I put the smaller ones and the bigger ones. Um, yeah, my babies escaped. I have them in these little brood boxes, plastic brood boxes, and a couple of them escaped. And my kitty, um, the other morning, like it was really early, of course, because they wake up with the sun and they start chirping, chirp, 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 chirp. And um, anyway, a couple of them got out of the box and they're in my bathroom. Um, and so they were kind of running around. And my kitty was sitting there right by the bathroom door, just guarding it, making sure that nobody got out. She didn't try to eat the babies or anything. She just sits there. And she just watches them and purrs at them. And they're kind of running around trying to figure out how to get back in the box. Anyway, I ended up finally having to get up and put them back in the brood box, those sillies. Okay, this is your sashing piece on the top part of the quilt. And this is a sashing piece on the bottom part of the quilt. I'll show you right here. Okay, so that dark blue is up here. The brown is down here. Gorgeous. Love it. I love this quilt. I love it. Then we have some lighter, the lighter 
This is used for sashing around that running yardage. And let's see, this is your border. And here is some fabric that you're using to frame those blocks that are in the pieced row. Okay. And let's see, what else do we have here? This one, hmm, this is the binding. Ooh, ooh, pretty. And then this is, Wendy says, new business for you, Christy's stud service. <laughs> Wendy, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> You're making me blush. Look it, I'm turning red. Oh my goodness. Okay, so these are those big blocks. We're just going to pretend she didn't say that. Wendy, I cannot, you are just so, oh my gosh. And about the last thing I need is another business, seriously. Okay, so here, just going to cut that and frame around it. You silly, you silly girl. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do with you? <laughs> okay, you're going to have some leftover too, I think, after you get this uh, pieced. You have enough fabric um, for those turtles going across the top and the bottom of the quilt. You're only going to use two out of the four stripes. So you'll have some leftover in this. And then this one is, it's fine, it's fine. It's totally fine. This one is used, I don't know. It's somewhere in there. Maybe this is the border. Maybe I showed you the border already. I don't know. Anyway. Holy cow. Beach VO quilt. How much is this one? $109.95. Finishes 60 by 84. And you'll need five and a quarter yards of fabric for the back. We only sell by the yard, so you're going to have to buy six yards. Sorry. Wendy, I think you need to get one of these kits. I'm not going to lie. You live in North Carolina. There's lots of beaches and turtles there. I think you need to get one of these and make one and then post it. But the question is, which one? Because they're all so gorgeous. Okay, are we ready to do a giveaway? You ready for me to do one? Okay. Okay, so let's give away. First, let's give away the panel for the bag. Okay, so you got to let us know you're here. And, okay, Judy Brunn. Judy, you are going to get this bag panel. We will send it to you probably maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Things are going to be nuts here because of the open house. Um, so let us know you're here, Judy. And let's see. <sighs> what other projects um, besides quilts? Let's see here. Hold on. Let me think about what the question was. Other projects besides quilts. I figured I would remember the whole question. What other projects do you like to do besides quilts? Okay, that's our next giveaway question. Judy, let us know if you're here. Okay. Okay, there's that. Um, so our next giveaway is going to be, I don't know, it's a surprise. I've got a couple things over here. Um, okay, what? Oh, 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 she's got lots of giveaways over there. Oh, she's got a whole basket full of giveaways. Do, do we have more? What? Who? Ah, this? Oh, that? Oh, oh, we're going to give away tons of stuff today. Okay, stick with us. Okay, what time is it? Hold on. 4.39. Okay, I I don't know. What was the question? <laughs> what other projects do you like to do, sewing type projects, uh, besides quilts? Is Wendy saying something naughty? No. <laughs> Sarah's texting me. Sarah's texting Tammy. Sarah, how's the sound? Are the AirPods connected? And how's your new job going? We miss you. Let me know if you want to come back. Not that Teresa's doing a bad job. It's just like today, she's like, wow, some of this stuff takes a little longer than I thought it would. Susan and Gretchen say bags. Okay. They would like to do bags. I know that I say bags funny. Okay, what am I doing here? Little Darling Safari Animals. New collection from... BB Textiles? Do you know where this one's from? Let's find out. Let's look. See, I we, we were so busy shipping stash boxes this week. You guys, we shipped over 100. We shipped about 140 stash boxes. 140. Minus a couple. I don't know. 
134. We shipped 51 last month. We shipped 141 this month. 130, I don't know. Math's too hard right now. Somewhere around 140. Which means we have four extra. But I'm not letting anybody buy them yet. Hold on. Um, if you haven't signed up for our stash box, <laughs> I don't know what are you doing. <laughs> like, what are you waiting for? We're going to record the video, um, the reveal video, probably later today. I don't know. We'll see. But people are going nuts so for it. Have you guys been in our Revs Fab Stashers group? Um, there's a woman that's up in Spokane. She's a day away from us for shipping. So when I get, get it shipped, she gets it the next day. And she's like all over in the Revs Fab Stashers group. Ah! So excited. She was giggling. I, I don't know. Cheryl, did you talk to her on the phone? Um, I can't remember if she called you or not. But anyway. Knocked it out of the park. We knocked it out of the park again for the stash box. Um, so if you haven't signed up for the stash box yet, you better do it because May is crazy. Awesome. Oh my gosh. I saw some of the projects already and I'm like, are you kidding me? These are so cute. Um, we're capping it at 300. Yes. Sales prevention team. The boss is like, we're not doing any past 300. I don't know what June has in store for us, but I think, I think we're ordering special fabric just for the stash boxes now. It's that big of a deal. So anyway, and if you don't know what the stash box is, it looks like maybe there's some questions about that. Should I tell you guys about the stash box? Give me some hearts really quick. Give me some hearts. Give me some hearts. You want to hear about the stash box? Do you know what it is? Are you new to this? Okay. We're Rebs Fab Stash. We're located in Moscow, Idaho. We are doing stash boxes. It's a subscription box that comes out every month. Yep, there's those hearts. We are doing one or more projects in the box. We are doing at least one block in the box, which is a hint. There was three in the box this, this month. I know. It's okay. They've already been shipped. Um, and let's see. Then there's other surprises. We have other little, like, um, little giveaways and other surprises. Just it's like it's like Christmas in a box from Rebs Fab Stash every single month. You place the order during the month. We ship it the first week of the month following. So if you haven't signed up for our stash box yet, you sign up now. You'll get the box the first week of May. We ship them all at the same time. It's a surprise. It's Christmas. Allison got hers today and she loves it. Yay! Um, I know a lot of you have subscribed. Um, Deidre, you've subscribed. Um, Tammy, did you subscribe? I can't remember. Anyway, um, I've had people that have told me that they've canceled other boxes so that they can get my box because it's that good. Tammy, that was you, Stebs. I think she did that. So Tammy, you'll have to tell me what you think. Anyway, um, I'm shipping you presents every month. It's $49.95 plus $6.99 for shipping. And my goal with the stash box is for you to have something at some point along the way be like a learning opportunity for you, like something you haven't done. Um, I want you to learn. I want you to grow. I want you to learn new skills. And so that's kind of my goal for the stash box. And um, it has to appeal to a broad audience. So we have so much fun coming up with these ideas and these projects together. Um, oh, and if you haven't left us a review yet on the website, please do so. We love the feedback, and there's only a couple of reviews right now on the stash box. So if you can take the time to go post a review on the website, you get emails um, seven days after your order is fulfilled asking you to do that. Um, yeah, so, okay, so that's the stash box. <sighs> Hold on, I got to take a breath. Okay, oh, we're getting another note. Hold on. Lots of interest in the YouTube videos for stash box projects. Okay, <laughs> all right. I'm just going to have to carve some more time out of my day to record these videos. Okay, Little Darling Safari Animals. Uh, this is a new collection. I think this is PB Textiles. Hold on. Oh, please. Yep, PB Textiles. That was for you, Sarah. Sillier Than Sally. Okay, here's the panel. So I think I'm showing you the Fat Quarter Bundle. It comes with a panel. Look at these cute little guys. Aren't they? Try again. Oh. Siri, I'm not talking to you. Shut up. It's because I said Sarah. He thinks when I say Sarah, when I say Sue. Anyway. He thinks I'm talking to him. He's not. Aren't those cute? Oh, my gosh. These are nice big blocks. Okay. 
Oh, we've got more panels here. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, these are so cute. Oh, oh. Elephant. So cute. Sarah, aren't you sad you don't get to see these right now? Look at that cute little lion with his little crown. Isn't he cute? Look at the little elephant and the little hearts. Oh, that'll be fun to quilt. Uh, it's linked in the chat below. <clears throat> this is not like a comment sold type thing live if you're new, by the way. Um, we are just posting the links below because we had some technical difficulties with Facebook. There we go. Cute little blocks. Oh my gosh, look at the orangutan. <laughs> look at the zebra. Look at those big eyes. Oh, we got a new barn cat this week too. Mm -hmm. Yep, so we adopted three about a month ago and then one showed up last week. And so now we have another barn cat. But don't worry, I'm not gonna be the crazy cat lady. Like I'm the crazy chicken lady. We're, we're good, we're good on cats. We don't need any more cats. You don't need any more dogs. I don't need any more animals. Okay, let's look at the rest of this collection. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. I haven't even seen this, you guys. Sorry, I keep cheating this so that I can see it. Oh, that's so cute. Little splotches of paint. This is kind of like a zebra print on pink. Oh, and here's a green one. Oh my gosh. This would make such a cute baby quilt. Look at the little palm trees and butterflies. Oh, we're back to cute. This is so cute. Look at this stripe. Look at that stripe. Oh my gosh, isn't that cute? Um, okay, we're getting some questions about being able to subscribe to Stashbox for just one month. Mm -hmm. It is month to month, but I would like to ask you to commit to three months at least. Um, a lot of that is just for ordering and supply and thing like things like that. But we might make some available at the end of the year. I don't know. Stay tuned. We're thinking of some things. But yeah, if you can subscribe and commit to at least three months, that would really help me out because that helps us with our ordering and our planning. Because I'm telling you, trying to put 300 boxes together, I don't know. <laughs> some people might get stressed out. <laughs> I might have to hire somebody just to do the stash boxes. I don't know. Where it's it's quickly getting to that point where wow, it's crazy. Isn't that cute? Look at those all overs. Look at those little animals. Oh, oh my gosh! Look at the giraffe. He's sticking out his tongue. And the little baby zebra. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, so this fat quarter bundle has hold on, ten fat quarters plus three panels. I don't know why we cut them into threes. Maybe they're, are they separate bolts? They must be separate bolts. The Little dairy, little Darling Safari Animals collection for PB Textiles. We also have, oh my gosh, a really cute quilt kit. Oh, who has a grandbaby to make a quilt for? Have a meeting at seven, have to silence my phone. That's fine. Thanks for sticking with us. <laughs> Cindy, I appreciate it. Um, you have to get yourself some AirPods, then you can listen while you're in your meeting and pretend like you're paying attention. <laughs> okay, Little Darling Safari, quilt designed by Stacy Day. We'll post this video too when we're done, by the way. Um, oh, there's two options. Isn't that cute? Cute, cute. What's the question? I don't know, I forgot. Other projects besides quilts. What are some other projects you're working on besides quilts? that are having to do with sewing. Oh, the border print. I haven't shown you guys the border print yet. Ooh, you know what else you could put closed captioning on? Then you could keep watching that way. I don't know how well that does though. Whoa, that's a cute border print. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Okay, then let's see. We've got the panel. We've got, here we have the little zebra print on kind of a taupe. Kind of a beige color. Splotchy dots on the gray and the stripe. Cute for binding. Probably used for the binding because people are watching me or listening to me or something. I don't know. All over print. Hmm. This is not quite gray. This is kind of like a uh, antique white maybe. I don't know. Interesting. Very vintage feel to it. Yes. And then you get one of the panels. Let's look at this panel. This is the small block panel. 
fun. You could make some little pillows matching. Not that you can put pillows in baby cribs, but the two-year-olds would love it. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Okay, this one, let's see, optional pieced quilt back and reversible pillow instructions available. So this is a free pattern on the PB Textiles website. So we've got a little quilt. It finishes 48 by 54, and then optional piece quilt back and reversible pillow instructions available. That doesn't make sense. Cindy says pot holders and placemats. Those are good. That's a good idea. Um, optional piece quilt back and reversible pillow instructions. I don't know. It's probably just not making sense because I'm trying to do this live and my brain isn't working right now. Okay, let's see what else. Any more for that collection? Oh, so we looked at the bundle. We've got half yard bundles too. We'll put the links below. That one's called Little Darling Safari Animals. By the way, in case you didn't know, our April sale for the whole month is 10% off all yardage. Coupon code is April 2022. And that includes wide backs, and it's everything that's here in the store right now. It doesn't count for pre-orders. Okay, let's see what else. Let's look at Wanderlust. This one is also by PB Textiles. The designer is Cindy Hershey. Now I have not seen this fabric yet either, but I know when it came in, my shop manager was like going gaga over it. And everybody else too, actually. Okay, I'm gonna show you the half yard bundle. Uh, 14 half yards plus two panels. So let's start with the panels because those are always fun. Hang on, I haven't even seen this yet. Oh, this is cute. Look at these campers. Oh, look at the kitties. We take our kitty camping and our grizzly boy, not the chickens. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is cute. Cheryl, have you even seen this yet? Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Look at that cute little camping panel. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, what's this? Hold on, we've got another something here. There's another panel in this collection. There's two panels in the collection. What do we have? <gasps> oh wow, this is a big panel. Yes, I think they are... Let's see, 42 by 42, is it square, you think? Yeah, that one's square, 42. Okay. And the inside squares are about 12 and a half. Okay, the inside squares are about 12 and a half. Let's see, I've got a note. Link to promo Wanderlust bundles will go out in tomorrow's email. Tomorrow's or tonight's? Tomorrow's, okay. Tomorrow morning we'll send you an email announcing our sale for the weekend and also with a link for these but you can also search for it on the website tonight if you need to, wander lest, all one word. Not all who wander are lost. Oh, that's cute. Look at the little beach camper. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, what a gorgeous collection. Okay, let's see what else we got. Now we've got some half yards to look at. We have a tonal here with some words on it. This is on blue. Oh my gosh, I love camping. I'm upgrading my camper. Oh, this is cute. Welcome to camp. Can you guys see the words? Probably not. Boathouse, lake, trailhead. That'll read as a tone on tone. Oh, you can't see them. Oh, good. That's cute. Let's see what else. We have some little sunny faces. You could fussy cut these and use those as blocks. Cute, that is really cute. Oh my gosh, look at this. What a fun print. We've got paisleys and flowers. We have peace signs and this color is on kind of an aqua. A YouTube tour of the store and meeting the staff. Oh, good idea. I like that. Good idea, we will write that down. We're going to have to go back through and make a list of what you guys are putting on here. Oh, she has a sticky note. Oh, good. <laughs> Write it down on something more permanent than a sticky note. Flamingos on aqua, kind of. Let's see. Oh, and the designer is Stephanie Peterson-Jones. 
Oh my gosh, isn't that cute? Let me back up the color on that a little bit. Aqua. Look at those flamingos. Cute. All right, then we have another one of those tone on tones with the words. This one is white on aqua. Welcome to camp. Oh my gosh, this is cute. All right. Oh, we have some fun. I don't even know what to call this. Fun stripe. Argyle. I don't know. Cute. Green and blue and yellow colors. Another one of the tone on tones. This one is green. I don't remember how many is in this fat quarter bundle. Wendy, what'd you say? She wants to know who giggled behind the camera. Who giggled behind the camera? So Tammy <laughs> and Teresa. Used to be Sarah, but she's not here. I don't know. We should see. We could. We could join her, and she could giggle too. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Sarah got a new job. She was my marketing, and then she got a new job, and then we hired Teresa, and Teresa's doing awesome. But we miss Sarah. She's fun. Is she still watching? I'm not sure. These are cute. Look at this camper print on she green. When you first started doing that, like you said that Sarah was the market, and Sarah was like, I love you. <laughs> Having this little sidebar conversation. White on green. Now that this is another one of those word prints. Oh, I'm getting lots of hearts. I don't know. What are we getting the hearts for? Probably this cute print. Oh my gosh. This is on white. Look at these cute campers all decked out. They've got flamingos and peace signs and stars. And oh my gosh, this is so cute. Cheryl, you might have to take some of this to your next Sisters on the Fly camp trip, which is in May. <laughs> Sell the heck out of it. Oh my gosh, aren't these cute? Oh, okay, another stripe. I can tell we're getting close to five. I'm going to have to hurry up, hustle it up a bit. I'm getting tired. Oh, my gosh. And then more flamingos on mm, a dark peach. Cute. Look at those. Cute, cute. Okay. Okay, so that's the bundle. Let's look at the kits we have for this. Oh, my gosh. I can tell I'm going to love this. Oh, we should do another giveaway. Oh, okay. So we are going to give away a scrap bundle that has, oh my gosh, this is so cute. What a cute scrap bundle. Um, it has, is it a panel? No, it's just. It's the fabric. Yeah, and then it's, it's some of the fabric. fabric and then some tonals, bright colors, super cute. And look, she tied it with a little strip of leftover fabric from the collection. Isn't that cute? After we cut our bundles, we have little leftovers. Okay, so. Who's getting the camper thing? Rhonda Stenner or Stoner? Stoner. Stoner. Rhonda Stoner. <laughs> well, you gotta close your O's, dude. Okay, Rhonda, let us know if you're here. And you'll get that little scrap bundle. Okay, so have we done share this video? Okay, share the video. Um, have have we done that for giveaway? And then comment shared. Share this video and comment shared for the next giveaway. Okay? And if you don't want to, that's fine. The comment shared. If you share the video, actually. Okay, here's another kit. Let's see. I'm looking for measurements on the kit. Hold on. Hold please. Finished placemat. Oh, there's placemats, 15 by 17. <clears throat> and then there's a wall hanging. But it doesn't say how big it is. 20 by 20-ish or so. So this would look really cute hanging in your camper. Pretty easy. And then there's some little placemats up here using that panel, the block panel. Can you see that? Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's look at the fabric. So you've got some stuff for the trees. This is the top of the trees. Uh, let's see, you've got a little background fabric, and this, hmm, I don't know what this is for, maybe for placemats, I don't know, and this is the border actually on the quilt, and then you fussy cut a bunch of the main print, and the border print, and voila, your wall hanging is done, 
And it looks like they also, I'm trying to look at this pattern here. It looks like they also fussy cut the border print to make some of those placemats. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, that's fun. Super easy project. That one would be done in a day. Who wants to make it for me? Because I want it for my camper. Oops, if I put it in there, we'll get lost. Okay, what else? Ooh, we have another kit. Okay. We have a substitution in this kit. Um, Serenity has been substituted for the Whimsy. It's probably a tonal. Yes, that's my guess. Okay, here we have another one. This is cute, fun. All right, this is great. This uses that block panel. Okay. And then it has some blocks down here where you're fussy cutting the little star, the little uh, sun faces and piecing around. Okay, and then you're adding in with some other blocks here. Okay, so here's the panel. So this quilt top will go together really, really fast. What is fussy cut? Good question. Good question. And then you've got the border around here. Okay, so fussy cut. Let me show you what it is. Hold on, let me find the right fabric here. Mom calls it fussy cut. I don't know if it's called something else, but see this little block right here? Okay, a little sun block. I know this is really bad paper, but basically what that means is you cut um, strategically to make a block. So what you would do, for example, here is the little sun guys. You would cut a little square of the sun and then you would piece around it. Okay, so that's called, you specifically cut where you want the little, what part of it you want to be in the block. Okay, so here, you just cut that little square, and that's called, that's what I call fussy cut. Tammy wants to do a retreat at Reb's Bam Stash. I love you, Tammy. Come and do a retreat here. We have a huge classroom here, and you could sit here and be part of the live. Maybe I'll show you the classroom one of these days. I think we have pictures of it on the website, actually. YouTube video. Here's the panel. So basically when you use the panel in the quilt, you would also fussy cut the panel as well for the blocks because you would specifically cut to use it. Or like the um, the turtle fabric that I showed you, you could you would specifically cut a turtle like with a square around it, some room around it for seam allowance, and then you would use that. Sarah has to go, oh, bye, Sarah. Why do you have to leave me? Oh, it's 5.03. <gasps> we got to announce the stash sale. I'm not done showing you all the fabric. Okay, time to know what the stash sale is. Ready? Oh, I need the numbers, by the way, for the stash sale. Can you find those for me? Okay, we're going to keep going. The email isn't going out until 5.30. Okay, so that was Wanderlust. I think I showed you the bundle and two of the kits that we have. What else? We have, oh, this is funny. Welcome to the funny farm. I think I need some of this fabric too. This is really cute. I'm going to show you the fat quarter bundle. There's eight fat quarters and two panels in this collection. And stash sale coming soon. Um, and we'll do a giveaway in a minute. Other projects besides quilt skill they want to learn. Okay. Welcome to the funny farm. This is cute. We've got a bird sitting on the cow and the horse. And I had some people come in this week that actually have called their farm the funny farm. Like officially that's their business name. Aren't these cute? And she came in and got this bundle. She's not too far from here, about 20 minutes away. Look at the pig. Isn't that funny? Cute, cute. Fun panel. Large panel. Very large panel. Uh, one yard panel. Cute tractor. Cute cow. Cute barn. Love the barn. Love the barn. I want a red barn like that. We have a red barn now. Okay, what's the other panel look like? Welcome to the Funny Farm. This is by Connie Haley by Three Wishes. If you like this style of fabric, we have a lot of Connie's other, um, other collections that are a little bit older. Super cute, always fun animals with funny glasses, making funny faces. Her name is Connie Haley. 
So we'll put the link in the comments below. And then here's the rest of the collection. We have all these tossed funny animals with their glasses on Aqua. Look at the little chick, isn't he cute? I like the little chick. And then let's see, we have carrots growing in the ground. That's a cool print. You don't see something like that. Oh, don't mind the honks out there. This is the most dangerous intersection in town. We need to uh, get the Idaho Department of Transportation to let us put a light here. Oh my gosh, okay, here's another one, another example of what you could fussy cut. You can just cut these little squares and use them. Or you could put this on the back of the quilt and quilt it, or you could just make cute little placemats. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, look at those funny animals. I'm into whiskey business. Oh my gosh, read these things, read what they say. Oh, they're so funny. What's for dinner? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. Okay. I'll come back to that. Stash sale. These two items. Okay. The email goes out at 5.30. It is 5.06 right now. These file folders were $19.95. And they are now $11.95. And these are from the flea market collection. Anyway, these are what the folders look like. If you want some really cute, fancy folders, let me see how that shows up. The lights are probably glaring terribly. Oh, those are cute. Cute little file folders. They're now $11.95. And the notebook, the stitch notebook, was $16.95. Now it's $10.95. Sale ends at 6 or 8 tomorrow morning. 8. Sale ends at 8 a.m. tomorrow. It's a grid notebook, so you can sketch out your blocks and color them and see what it looks like. So, file folders and notebooks. Okay, file folders were $19.95, now they're $11.95, so almost 50% off, not quite. And then the notebook was $16.95 and now it's $10.95. And these are expensive to ship, so losing money giving them away, but they're super cute. You need to have one. So go grab one for the stash sale. Everybody else is going to know about it in 20 minutes. I don't know. Okay, here's some more of the collection. This is the, was this one the funny farm? I forgot already. Yes. Tossed vegetables. This is linked in the chat. What is linked in the chat? The stash sale? Everything. Everything, Everything is linked in the chat. If you're looking for it, it's in the chat. Comments, yep. Vegetables. That's a really cool vegetable print. It's got the whole garden in it, practically. They're missing a couple of things that I like to grow. Ooh, that's a good question. Let's do another giveaway. What is your favorite thing to grow in your garden? If you have one. This is cute. This is the funny farm. Look at the little chicks. Oh, and the funny chicken. Look at the funny chicken with the glasses. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Chicken wire, that's a cool print, I like that. Why do I like it? I don't know, maybe I like chickens or something. Here's an all, a white on white. I don't even know if you can see that on the camera, but it's like little circly splotchy dots. Oh yeah, there you go, now you can see it. And this fun gingham print is in the bundle. And we probably have half yard bundles too. This is Welcome to the Funny Farm collection. And this, is a really fun all over print. Pulling it all together. That's cute. Okay, what's next? We have kits for the Funny Farm. Welcome to the Funny Farm. Placemats. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. <laughs> Look, you take the panel and you build a little barn around it. And then you have tossed animals up here and you have carrots, the carrot print down here. Those are cute. This finishes 15 and three quarters by 19 and three quarters. You could make a little um, table topper for it too. So this is Funny Farm placemats. 
So you have your block panel with your funny animals and you can pick whichever animals you want because you're going to get an entire panel. Oops, wait a minute. Well, what's that for? This is the wrong panel. We put the wrong panel in this kit. Lana, don't let us ship any of these funny farm kits. We put the wrong panel in. I don't know if Lana's listening. Okay, well, uh, I already had somebody go home with one. I think we've already shipped a couple. Darn it. Shoot. Where's the panel? I can't find it. Oh, this is just mixed up. This one has the other panel, maybe, hopefully? Nope. Okay, well, where's the little animal one, the little block one? Did I even, did I show you guys? I can't even remember. Sorry. I don't know where it went. Okay, well, anyway. We'll get that other kit fixed. <laughs> but I'm just going to make sure it's not in here. Nope. All right, the placemat kits we need to fix, but they're really cute. But anyway, you get a big panel so you can pick which animals. Oh, here it is. Is it over here? Nope, I don't know where it is. Okay, moving on to the next kit. Uh, okay, where did the pattern go? Oh my goodness, I'm losing my bonkers. Okay, so we've got the big panel here in the middle. This is the other kit. Barn quilt. This one finishes 52 by 58. And little pieced border around here. Super easy, fun. We have those kits. And let's see, then we have some cute aprons. <laughs> this is cute. Okay, here's the apron kit. Isn't that cute? I haven't even seen this yet. Heather says, no time for gardening, busy quilting. Heather, do you even quilt when it's hot outside? I can't. It's too hot. Even with my air conditioning going full bore, my husband freezing, my daughter freezing. This is the bottom part of the apron. I need this as an egg print. <laughs> an egg print. Isn't that cute? You have little pockets for all of your eggs, in case you didn't know what an egg print is. See, and you could use this quilt or this fabric for the little egg pockets. Wouldn't that be cute? Little chickens and chicks. Okay, Mom, I have another project for you. <laughs> and then this is the trim on the bottom of the apron. All those funny little things. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Cute, 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 cute. And then this is the fabric for the straps up and around the top. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, that's cute. Okay, then we have a squad quilt. This is also using that funny farm quilt fabric. Um, better, oh my gosh. I screwed these all up, Tammy. I'm sorry. Yep. She saw that. Okay, Scott Quill, 28 or 68 by 68. You put the panel in the middle. And then you do these fun little pieces around. Here's another example of fussy cutting where you're taking that um, print that has the blocks, the two and a half, three inch blocks, and you're using that for the cornerstones on the quilt. Isn't that cute? And then you've got your border. Print and the panel that you use in the center of this one is upside down. This is the farm squad. Isn't that cute? Super fun. Really cute. So you use this panel and then you build it, build it around. If you're a beginning quilter, this kind of thing is perfect for you to start with. You have a little bit of this. I love this print. And you've got your tossed all over animals. And then you have that red print. And then these funny saying block prints. 
and ginghams and your vegetables or your garden and carrots and the white all in that kit so lots of fabric in there okay i'm joining out of boxes actually is the other problem okay what else do we have mm, trendy meadows i think i showed you that last week but it's worth showing you again because easter's coming and it's super cute we have one substitution in here and super cute little bunnies all right and we'll have to do some more giveaways here in just a second um we'll do some more drawings so this one has a panel in the collection which you use for the main part of the quilt cute little bunnies with their little glasses super cute in case you missed it a couple of weeks ago and then we have a tossed bunnies all over on a light blue this one is their accessories um hmm that color the background color is like a vintage white ish blue ish <laughs> which is the technical term for it we have the bunnies with their glasses all packed in there we have orange which hopefully makes some cute little carrots somewhere we have tossed carrots on white this is called hold on trendy meadows and here we have flowers on white we have a folio print. This is a Starry Basics gray. Really cute little gingham print, plaid print, and then the border print for the border. And the border has all of these little bunnies making lots of, actually they're not making too much mischief. So that's good because sometimes the bunnies make a lot of mischief. They like to eat things that are in the garden, but anyway okay so that was trendy meadows what else oh kimberbell is on sale i was trying to figure out why kimberbell was over here kimberbell is on sale this weekend for the whole weekend still sale starts tomorrow let's do another giveaway really quick we have hmm, what do you think we should give away Ooh, ooh, she's pulling some fun things out of the basket okay <gasps> Wendy Stroud, what would she like? I think she would like, hmm, I think she would like these. Wendy, you're our winner. See? We're gonna give you a little needle minder and a really small embroidery scissors by Lori Holt. Cute, cute. Wendy, let us know you're still here. Oh, oh, she is. She's like, oh, she's here. She never left. She never left. Okay, so Kimberbell's on sale. So if you have an embroidery machine or even if you don't, we have lots of goodies. We have the Candy Cane Lane Bench Pillow fabric. This is the kit. I'm sure that we have the patterns. We have, yep, here we go. We have the sewing version of the Candy Cane Lane pillow and i don't know if we have the embroidery version but all kimberbell is on sale starting tomorrow and we do have the embroidery version pattern for the candy cane lane and we have the embellishment kits super cute look you get little little lights to put on your pillow you could put them on the house here or you could put them on the tree not cute or if you don't want to have a pillow and you want to make it a wall hanging you can do that. Just put a border around it, just like mom did with that um, that really cute one that she did that was, what was it? St. Patrick's Day. We have Main Street Celebration embellishment kits, and I know we have the patterns, and I know we have the fabric kits as well. Okay, so Main Street Celebration. And what did we say? 15% off all Kimberbell? Mm -hmm. And then we have these cute little purses. This is, um, you do this in the hoop, embroidery, 15% off. Okay. All right. So that's our sale for this weekend. Stash sale, I already told you about. Stash sale is deep discounts. We're going to be doing those every Tuesday and Thursday. So watch our emails Tuesdays because we send those emails out early. 
Um, and sometimes we have very limited stock. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. Another question I have for you guys. What is a skill that you want to learn? Did we already do that one? No, but it's 520. I know. I just want to know. There's, you're not going to be put in the giveaway anymore, but I want to know. Oh. Uh, oh. Don't go out of the app because that will. Oh. Back. Are we back? Are we back? Give us thumbs up. If we're Give us back. thumbs up. And maybe it's really slow. Still frozen. Are we there? Can you hear me? There were some sad faces when we left. Oh gosh, we might have to change platforms. 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 Ugh. You're back. We're back. Okay. Okay. So let's see, April Griffin, let us know you're here. I am sending you the Heather Patchwork Quilt kit. No, I'm sorry, pattern. Isn't that cute? Super fun. Um, this fabric uh, features um, a really cute um, flannel fabric that was out a couple of years ago. April, let us know you're here. I have to cough. Cover your ears. <coughs> let me get a water here. Hmm? April's here. Okay, here we go. And then, so what happened was I drew two names out of the bucket. So they're both winning. Yay! The other one is Gretchen Alexander. She's getting one of our little fat quarter bundles. This is a little five piece fat quarter bundle. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So Gretchen Alexander, let us know you're here. And sorry for the technical difficulties. I don't know what to do about it. It's annoying. And I'm not, I She's don't here. own Facebook, but anyway. Okay, so open house tomorrow, Friday and Saturday. We're gonna be super busy here, but we'll try to get your order shipped really quick. If you haven't signed up for Stashbox, please do. There's information about that on our website. And we're gonna cap it at 300 this month. Let's see, open house Saturday and Sunday, Friday and Saturday. Um, we're going to fix those really cute funny farm quilts. And thank you for being here. And thank you for bearing with us through all of this technological issues. And uh, stash sale is those file folders and the notebook. So go on the website and grab some of those right now because the email is going out in six minutes. And we might sell out of those. So make sure you grab some of those super good deals. Okay, we'll be back next week. Thanks so much for being here. Love you guys. Hugs to you all. We'll see you later. Bye.